Hey everybody, Bradley here with Everyday Outdoors, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about my 2021 spring turkey season. Well guys, I gotta be honest. This past season is probably, without a doubt, the worst turkey season of my life. I mean, I feel like I'm not overstating that at all. Um, so, first of all, I only made it out like four times the whole season, uh, which usually I like to make it out a couple more times than that each season. Um, mainly it was just work. The main other reason is I was kind of stuck on just one piece of property. I lost like two of the pieces of land uh, that I usually hunt. So I think just being stuck to that spot is kind of what screwed me a little bit. But with that being said, there was birds on it and I did have an opportunity uh, at a bird this past season. It was actually opening morning. Um, and I had this bird gobble more than any bird I have ever witnessed in my entire life. This bird was going hoarse. Like this <laughs> this bird was starting to lose its voice from gobbling so much. It sounds dramatic, but it's the truth, honestly. Um, and this bird gobbled like once every five seconds for what felt like an hour straight. I'm not sure if it was an hour straight, but it felt like it, man. This bird was just going off like crazy for hours and hours. So you might be wondering, what happened? Why didn't you kill the bird? So the first mistake I made was not getting in close enough. I thought I was closer than I actually was. Thought I was within 100 yards, but I was actually within like maybe two or 300 yards. Um, the sound just kind of tricked me a little bit and I wasn't as close as I thought I was. So it's what I ended up doing is trying to get him to come in. He was hung up, he wouldn't move. So I kept moving in closer and closer and I think I honestly would have made it happen. Like this bird was fired up. I probably could have ended up shooting him. But our neighbor, I don't know which neighbor, I haven't found them yet. Um, but one of our neighbors does not know how to take care of their dogs properly. So I ended up having two stray dogs come flying through the woods, barking and carrying on and ended up spooking the bird. Uh, and then never ended up hearing another gobble on that whole piece of land the rest of the season. Um, and I know is what sucks is that this isn't just a one-time thing. Every time I went to that piece of land, I would either hear or even see these dogs sometimes, and there's nothing I can really do about it. The dogs are borderline wild and you can't get close to them. So that kind of sucks, but there's not much you can do about it. So this concludes my excuses for not killing a turkey this season. And now looking back is what I wish I would have done is taken a little bit more time off to go out and hunt uh, and then going out to maybe some public land pieces or just trying to get permission on new pieces of uh, private land that had some cornfields and ag and stuff. And I know this video is kind of late. I know most turkey seasons have gone out by now because I haven't quite figured out what we're doing for the summer. Uh, most likely it's going to be fishing stuff. I would like to bring you guys fishing content, but uh, Sam is kind of the one who's doing that a lot and he won't take the camera with him. He won't film it. So I can't promise when that content's going to come out. Maybe I should just be Sam's cameraman. I'm not sure. Comment down below and let me know what I need to do this summer. So the second thing I plan on doing more of is prepping for deer season and putting the Odin's scent beads to use. I haven't gotten to talk a lot about Odin's and use their stuff, but I'm looking forward to it. They've got some really great stuff. Uh, I've had some decent results so far and I think it's going to be really cool to use those uh, going into this fall. And another thing I'm really, really excited about is I have not spent a fall in Indiana for the past two years. I've been out filming other people kill stuff the past two years, so I am excited to finally be home this year and be able to go out and hunt a little bit and actually uh, 
be at home for the fall. Because last year it was Midwest Whitetail, and then the year before that it was the Hunting Grounds. And then the year before that was. Hey guys, Bradley here with Everyday Outdoors, and welcome to Season 1, Episode 1. Oh gosh. I hope you guys enjoy Episode 1 of Season 1, The Beginning. Yeah, we're doing that again. Don't worry guys, don't worry. I promise that it will not be that cringy. But I'm looking forward to it, and I hope to bring you all along on that uh, that journey. And I'd like to hunt some more public land too. I got all kinds of crazy plans. All right, everybody, I think that's, uh, that's all I've got for today. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, or video ideas even, be sure to put them down in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. I hope you have enjoyed Everyday Outdoors, and until next time, God bless.